Today I am watching the relationship between WTI crude and XLE ETF. In other words, the spread between crude oil and energy stocks. Since mid-2015, XLE traded to a premium to WTI in a range of $15 to $30. The trend has broken in November ahead of OPEC's production meeting, but the spread has narrowed at an accelerated pace in recent weeks, reaching a low of $5. The major catalyst for this was the February stock market correction. And while the S&P and crude lost as much as 12 and 13% respectively from January's highs, both have recovered more than 70% of their losses as of Monday's close. However, the XLE lost 18% and as of Monday's close, it only regained about 30% of those losses. Another catalyst is the surge in WTI due to tighter inventories that correspond with less flow through the Keystone pipeline from Canada. We are now entering a maintenance season for crude oil. This will lead to less demand and a build in inventories. I remain very upbeat on the broader stock market and I believe this is a rare opportunity to sell WTI crude and buy XLE. For Trading Nation, I'm Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.